Hey Excel Geeks, in this series we are going to cover topic called how to create a deck slider in PowerPoint. So this is how it looks like. Okay, so we are getting a stepwise guide for you how we have created in this entire series and accordingly we'll explain you each part what it is exactly and how it works. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Right, uh, welcome to the screen folks. So what I will do, I'll just insert a shapes and uh, I'll drag it down shape like this it's in a rectangle one and for duplicate this uh, rectangle what I will do I'll just press the control key from my keyboard okay or maybe if in case you are a beginner you can just copy and paste it which is control C and control V that's complete your call how you want to go ahead uh, for easy steady step I have did a just selected that object and then I press a control okay then I got the duplicate of that and uh, I'm just placing the object back side and front side in terms of how we want to visualize that object specifically right just a personal recommendation when you are working on this um, design related activities make sure that you know you are work on the first particular part and post that you can have the replicas of it right I'm just making a changes over here and removing the outlines for the entire shapes okay you can pause the video you can uh, take a look at it that's completely fine okay it's not there is no rush no we need to move ahead or maybe just applied preset 4 over here and then what I will do I'll just apply a color code which will be create some sort of differences right so this will help us to know make more visually appealing I'm keeping this uh, theme as is right light blue and dark blue so this is the theme which will be adhering and then I'll apply bevel over here click here and then this bevel shape okay as soon as I do bevel it looks like this again I'll just apply the same color code which will matches the entire theme cool so this is how it looks like let me just select the entire thing press control so I will have the second copy and the, this is the third copy you can create as per your uh, requirement folks okay just on a demo per se I'm just creating a three uh, numbering format I would say you can create multiple out of it right insert again rectangle but prior that uh, let me just see what I can add as a headers over here uppercase and then I'll keep it on the top make it white because it's a visually appealing right so this will give us a glance I'll just again press the control and drag that this exactly you know this saves our lot of time when we do a duplicate instead of you know we go there and manually type this content we get as is that particular font we get the size as well so that's the reason we are you know using a duplicate option and then let me add some features as well here okay I'll just track this shape over here I'll adjust this there is a snap uh, object as well okay there is a snap itself in the PowerPoint so when you drag and drop right the objects is automatically stick to the object centrally aligned and those particular activities so you can do when you trial it right as per your convince you can say it and then I'll just use this option and apply is as a format painter so whatever color code is I'm applying over here I'll ensure that I don't know those is to be applied everywhere and just see this is the arrangement I'm just managing and centrally keeping the uh, all objects are centrally aligned and then as soon as it's done I'll select these two objects click on the shape format and then merge shapes 
here combine okay combine when we press combine this uh, object which we you know earlier sent back forward right it automatically come a top because the, the new object is there right so that's the reason it's coming up we need to ensure that we are moving back side again okay you can copy this again and keep it over here but i don't want to do that i want to make sure i'll apply this once again i'll do it again combine same thing no outline and send backward so this object will automatically move back cool so this is the thing for now and uh, again creativity there is a lots of scope you know you can improvise it i'm just thinking what i can do more over here just added one rectangle rounded rectangle like this here i'll add small small topics okay and uh, if in case you need this template right folks you can you can just ping me in the below youtube comment section i'll help you out with this template and you can feel free to use it in your wherever you are working with right and you can use as a practice model too cool this is what i am just adding it over here again control press duplicate the rectangles small small rectangles selected all and here what i will do i'll arrange click on the middle this will middle automatically will arrange yeah now click on the shape field i'll click on the dark blue and in the preset uh, i'll just check what type of preset it will suits preset 7 is suits fine selected that no outline again i'll make sure that you know, i'll make a transparency bit low but let me just check what i can add I just added this circle over here and then i'll insert a line when we insert a line there is automatically snap grids are there right so you can check with those highly recommend check properly four point i have kept it bring forward if in case it's not visible if in case it's already there don't worry we just need to change the color of it right otherwise the same color that's what it's getting merged see i've changed the color and it's automatically there so i'm just arranging this again shape and i'm just checking what type of color i can use it so it will go with the slide entirely select these two objects just copy paste okay simply wherever you are stuck guys you know feel free to drop a comment in below section i'll happy to help you out and uh, love to support you guys yeah don't worry yeah the things and uh, let me think what we can do it more better way right so in shape format let me just change the color of it i've applied this gradient cool so this looks fine for me at least okay and now i'll just select this entirely again shape fill mm, no i think shape fill doesn't look good so let's check this in a zoom screen okay this is how it looks like cool i think uh, this is this looks fine when we are presenting to the our leadership right or maybe our stakeholders i think this looks fine let me add some sort of text what why because the this is the blank right so this is the we need to add the discussions all about so i'll ensure that you know i'll add the topics over here let me remove this discussion about and keep as a business proposal first as a header what it is exactly because we don't want to go ahead just with the design right so we just want to add some context as well somewhere with this proposal and i'll just add over here intro 
I'll keep a segment like this. Okay, again, it's not just a dummy kind of uh, segment I'm keeping, folks. Okay, you can add your own, and uh, as per your requirement, definitely this will help you to present your presentation in front of your stakeholders. And then let me add inventory and post that. proposal okay you can just know again disregard with this particular part okay you can change this word batch as per your convinced folks once again contact us at the end or maybe thank you team we can say or maybe appendix whatever you want to call it as just click again zoom now you could see this uh, bottom something is missing right so what I will do I'll just adjust this click upper case When we're presenting this, uh, most of the time, you know, what we do, we present in a presentation mode only, right? So that's what I, know. I was just doubly checking that if we can check again and again in the presentation mode. I'll just select this entire all. Move it at top. Cool. And then I'll just click on again presentation mode. So I think this business is there. Okay, business proposal put down I'm good so far so let me just insert a shapes over here because filling some sort of emptiness right over there so let me add icons I'll type as a business over here and then couple of icons available okay and these are the very useful icons folks okay I would recommend you know use this icon instead of you know searching on any uh, any of the search engine okay because there might be a chances of copyright material trademark material so that's the reason I'm just suggesting go with this stock images stock icons okay which is available by our Microsoft 365 correct so this is what I'm importing and I've inserted already let me just select that one and uh, oops okay control Z and uh, so I select this again I'll pick and copy let me just copy there move it over there on the top and this is my topic two. okay handle with care folks because if in case you are new it will create a problem for sure right so let me again click on the presentation mode but prior that let me insert this line as well this will create more impact okay shape outline is no again control press and I'll keep that on the bottom side as well let me just put it in the bottom cool so this is just my first page I would say click on the zoom section and this is how it looks like Foof. I'm good so I think this is how we have beautifully created these uh, presentation slider folks you can use a animation in the presentation you can definitely do that you know and uh, basis your what type of audience you have right you can definitely interact with them thanks for watching once again have a great day ahead and please don't forget to subscribe my channel